So these ones are really, really nice. This idea of a block being pulled along. So it says block A of mass 2.4 kilos. So there's A with 2.4 G acting down and a resultant against it. Uh, it's on a smooth horizontal table, so there's no friction. It's got a lighted extensible spring that runs horizontal towards a smooth pulley. It hangs vertically and is supported by block B, which has mass M. There's one string connecting, so there's one set of tensions there. Now we're expecting, when we release it, for the block A to move forward and hopefully not slam into the pulley, and block B to move down. There. So it wants a value of M. Right then. So let's have a look in the direction of travel. So for block A, if we do F equals MA in the direction of travel, I've got T in the direction of travel minus nothing, because there's no resultant for no force holding it back. It's equal to 2.4A. So I can rearrange that as T minus 2.4A is equal to nothing. Then let's have a look at block B doing F equals MA in the direction of travel. So I've got MG going down minus tension is equal to MA. There. So what I would like to, what would be quite nice to do, am I giving the, oh no, I'm giving the acceleration. Oh, that's all right. So T would be 2.4 times 0.2. Oh, that's even easier. I've got the acceleration. I was expecting that to try and solve it. So that gives me 0.48 newtons. Uh, so what I've got here. So I've got 9.8 m minus the tension of 0.48 is 0.2 m. So I've got well, I've got 9.6 m is 0.48. So m is 0.05. Kilograms. Oh, that's a bit easier now. That was much easier than knowing what that was. So, it, oh, the, I don't know why they do this. The force exerted on the pulley. So, if you imagine the pulley, so it's that idea of you chucking a scarf around your neck, it pulls back that way, the string pulls you that way, the string pulls you that way. What I've actually got, if I look at the force diagram associated with it, so if I take. Um, so if I take the downward one first, so that's where, kind of where I'm starting from, and then take the other one going that way, T, T, T. Because it's the same force, it's going to be 45 degrees, there. So the force is the resultant here. So it will just be a T squared plus T squared. So it will be root 2 times T. There. So it'll be root 2 times by 0 0.48, and it'll give us roughly 0 0.68 newtons there. There you go. But I formed a little triangle with it, um, a force triangle. But it's never, I've never seen one about the force on the pole. I'm going to do loads of them. Every year I've been doing about this. But I'll stop the video. I want to do this one separately. It's quite nice.